Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a comparison of two of the Louis Vuitton bags that I have. Um, I have two classic bags, so I just figured why not do a little comparison on them. I know there are a lot of videos out there on these comparisons, but I just wanted to put my own spin on it and just kind of, you know, give people my take on how I feel about both bags. Um, but before I get into that, if you're new, hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Maddie. Um, I film a whole bunch of luxury related videos and a couple of other videos here and there. Um, I typically upload videos every Sunday. If you like luxury related videos, I would love it if you hit the subscribe button down below. And if you do enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a like and turn on the notifications as well, just so you know when I upload a video. And if you're not new, shout out to you. You're a real one. I appreciate you for coming back. Okay, so the two bags that I'm going to be comparing today are the Louis Vuitton Neverfull, the MM size, and the Classic speedy 30 so I'm gonna talk about the measurement I'm gonna do sort of like a what's in my bag not really an in-depth what's in my bag I'm just gonna kind of show you what's in the bag because I already have what's in my bag videos um, for both bags actually I'll link them I'll put them in the card or I'll put them in the description bar down below as well um, I'm gonna talk about the price the similarities the differences I'm gonna talk about the pros and the cons of both bags um, and then I'm gonna let you guys know what my preference is so this might actually be a long video because I just read everything that I wrote down and I feel like I have a lot to talk about but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'm just gonna get right into it I'm gonna start with the measurements. So here's the Neverfull. So it says the width is 6.7 inches. Um, the height is 11.4 inches. And the length is 12.6 inches. The width of this bag is 6.7 inches. The height is 8.3 inches and the length is 11.8 inches. As far as price, the Neverfull retails for $13.20 plus tax, and the Speedy 30 retails for $1,020 um, plus tax also here in the U.S. So as for similarities, uh, they're both classic bags. I mean, you can't go wrong with either bag, either the Neverfull or the Speedy. Um, I got the Neverfull first. I got that, I want to say, in May last year. So I've had it for about eight, nine months. And I just got the Speedy in October last year. So I've had that for about three months. Um, they're both classics, you know. Again, you can never go wrong with both bags. I don't think they would ever go out of style. For me, a similarity as well is that I got both of them in the Denier Evening print or canvas. Um, that's a similarity for me just because I, I tend to prefer the Evening um, in bigger bags and then I like the monogram canvas in small leather goods. I think another similarity is they can both be used as work bags. They can both fit a lot of stuff but the Neverfull can definitely fit um, more. Another similarity is they're both unstructured. I have bag organizers in both bags just because they don't they don't really have a shape or a structure to them when there's nothing inside. Um, so the difference is, so as you can see the Neverfull is definitely a show, more of a shoulder bag because it has a longer strap and the classic Speedy is a top handle bag. Now if you were to get the Speedy B, the bandolier, obviously that has a strap so you can wear it as a top handle and you could also wear it as a crossbody bag. So that's one of the differences. I don't really have that many differences. I would just say the difference is obviously the top handle, the completely different styles even though they're both classics um, they can fit a different amount of things in them because one is bigger than the other I'm going to talk about the pros and the cons of the Neverfull. So for me, a pro of the Neverfull is it literally can fit everything in the kitchen sink. I mean, look, it's just it's a big it almost feels like it's never ending i do have just random stuff in there now and i have the organizer i think you can fit a lot more without the organizer in it but i like how the bag looks better with the organizer a pro of the bag is definitely that you can fit pretty much everything inside you can use it for multiple things you can use it as a work bag i know people use it as a diaper bag you can use it when you're traveling you can fit a laptop in here for work which i think is perfect because i don't have to hold my work laptop on my hand when i do use this as a work bag and i would say a pro well at least for this the print that i got damier beam is a little more carefree than the monogram i don't have to worry about water stains i don't have to worry about anything like that so that's definitely a pro and that's why i tend to like the evening better for bag for bigger bags because i'm taking it out so now let's talk about the cons of this bag as you can see it's literally just open i mean it's open i feel like there's no security i don't 
that's I want to say that's one of the biggest cons for me like that's one of the biggest issues I have with the bag I'm paranoid I'm always worried that if I'm in a crowded place I live in New York City it's hella crowded over here and it's a lot of people here I'm not saying that people still here in New York but it's a lot of people it, it would have happened before you even know what's going on so I'm always scared that someone has easy access to my bag and can literally just reach in grab stuff out and I wouldn't even know until I got home or until I got to my destination just because it's so open so I'm always paranoid <laughs> like when I have it on I literally have it like this and I'm just like holding it like this because I don't want anyone to reach into my bag and take anything not that I have anything important like that but actually that's that's one of the biggest cons see the thing is the fact that it's open is a pro and is a con it's a pro because like i i i don't really have to look for anything i have my organizer in there so everything is organized and i can literally just reach in reach in and take what i want to take out but then it's also a con because it's easy access for anyone to take anything out of your bag for the most part. Yeah, not even just that. I'm always worried. Like when I'm traveling with it on the airplane, um, I'm always worried that stuff is just going to fall out and roll under the chair of the of, in the plane just because it's open. Um, it's It hasn't happened before. I mean, the bag has fallen, but nothing has fallen out of it just because like I, I typically like I use this thing. I don't know if it makes that much of a difference, but the little hook that's right here, I, I typically close that when I'm traveling or when I'm wearing it. But um, I'm always worried that stuff is going to fall out of it or like people are going to take stuff out of my bag. Um, so that's definitely a con. Another con about this bag that I would say is the straps dig into your skin a little bit when it's heavy. Um, just And it, it kind of sucks because the whole point of getting this bag is because it fits a lot of things. Um, but it definitely digs into your skin when it gets heavy. Um, so you kind of want to be mindful about that. Um, when I'm traveling, I don't put it on my shoulder. I literally just prop it on, on my hand luggage because, yeah, it's always heavy and it definitely digs into your skin. Another con that I have written down is, yeah, without an organizer, it's a con for me just because I like my bag a little more structured. Um, so a con for me is that it's unstructured if you don't have the bag organizer in it and everything is just like a hot mess inside the bag. And I don't like that. Um, I'm not the cleanest person. I'm not the most organized person. But I hate when my bag is just a hot mess and it just looks like literally like a trash can. So that's a con for me the fact that I had to spend extra money to put an organizer in the bag that already cost an arm and a freaking leg um that's a con but um it's not it's not going to be a con for everyone it's just for me personally so that's it for the Neverfull I'm going to switch to the Speedy and I'm going to talk about the pros and the cons of the CD so here's the Speedy this is what it looks like. I've shown it multiple times on my channel already. A pro for me for the Speedy is the silhouette of the bag. I just love how it looks. I don't know what it is about it, but I just love the shape of the bag. I love just how it looks like a box. I don't know. I just love the silhouette of the bag. I think it's very classy. It's very chic. And um, yeah, that's a pro for me. Another pro is the fact that it's a top handle. I don't know. It's just something about like, I think there's something very chic again. I'm classy about holding a bag like this as opposed to putting it over your shoulder or sometimes I can wear it this way if I want to so that's definitely a pro for me another pro is it doesn't dig into my skin like no matter how heavy it is it doesn't dig into my skin even if I wear it like this it does not dig into my skin significantly where I can see like marks but I typically carry it like this as a top handle anyways so another pro for me is it has a zipper so it's a little more secure and I don't have to worry about people reaching into my bag at any point in time just because it's always closed. But again, I will say it having a zipper is a pro and a con for me. I'll get into the con in a little bit. Um, but yeah, the fact that it has a zipper, it's more security. Um, I feel I feel like my stuff is protected inside this bag when I'm carrying this BD, so that's definitely a pro. But the last pro that I have is the price. I think it's relatively cheap for a luxury bag. Now, I know $1,000 is not small money. I know money doesn't grow on the tree, and I know a lot of people work hard to be able to afford a bag that costs $1,000. Well, this is $1,020. I know it's not cheap, but compared to other fashion houses and other bags that even Louis Vuitton carries, I think it's pretty cheap. And it's a huge bag. Like, it's not a small bag. Um, like, in comparison, my Gucci Super Mini Marmot was 900 and something. And this is, it's literally tiny compared to this. the fact that this bag can fit a lot and it only costs a thousand dollars i mean i think it's a steal i think it's a deal like i think it's a steal and you can you can't go wrong with getting this um again i know a thousand dollars is not cheap and i know but if you're into the luxury community you get my point um i mean there's luxury bags that cost like four thousand dollars um i mean hermes bags birkins cost what like 
I don't know, $10,000 and above. So the fact that you can get a decent sized luxury bag for $1,000, I think that's pretty amazing. Let's talk about the cons. I did mention that the zipper, the fact that it has a zipper is a pro and a con for me. It's a con just because, I'll show you. When it's open, as you can see, like it's not easy access for me. I can't, like it's open right now, but I have to prop open, like I have to pull it open when I'm checking for stuff and like I'm kind of like looking in to make sure that I can find what I'm looking for in this bag. So I don't like that it has a zipper just because it's not easy access, but I do like it because it provides security. Am I weird? I don't know. Um, yeah, so for me, the zipper is a pro and a con. Another con, just like with the Neverfull, is without an organizer for me, it's a hot mess. Um, it's just, I don't like the shape. I don't like how it looks without an organizer inside. I know I said the silhouette was a pro for me. Without an organizer, it's not a pro for me. It's a con. Um, yeah, so I don't like that. It's unstructured and it just kind of like shrivels up when you don't have an organizer in it. Another con, which is a big one for me, unfortunately, is this does not fit my laptop. So I carry a work laptop. Um, I, I work remotely for the most part and I have to have my laptop with me so it does not I think my work laptop is an HP laptop it does not fit in here with everything else that I have inside with the organizer which is a bummer because I love to use this as a work bag as well because like I said I just love how it looks but unfortunately when I carry this bag I do have to hold my laptop in my hand which is not fun but sacrifices you have to make first world problems I know but those are sacrifices that I have to make. And um, yeah, unfortunately it doesn't fit my work laptop, which is definitely a con for me. All right, so that does it for the comparison between the both bags. Um, I will talk about my preference. And um, when I first got the Neverfull, I loved it. And I just felt like it was the best purchase I had ever made in my life. Um, but I don't know what happened. I saw this Speedy, I fell in love with it and I bought it. And I have not really picked up my Neverfull after that. I'll be honest with you. I definitely prefer the Speedy 30, the classic Speedy 30. Um, I will say for right now, I'm not really a fan of the Bandelier. Um, I don't like how it looks as a crossbody and I know people get the 25 for, for bandolier just because it's smaller. I'm not a fan of how that looks. I'm not a fan of the strap. I'm definitely a classic speedy girl at heart right now. Who knows what the future holds because I've watched a whole bunch of YouTube videos and I know a whole lot of people said they weren't fans of the speedy B and all of a sudden they became fans of it. Um, who knows, that might happen to me, but right now I'm definitely a classic girl at heart and I don't see myself getting a bandolier anytime soon. But um, I definitely prefer this beading. I love the shape better than the Neverfull. And like I said, it's just something to me about carrying the bag as a top handle that just speaks to me. I can't explain it. It makes my heart sing. It makes me happy. So I definitely prefer this beading. I'm not not to say anything about bad about the Neverfull. They're both still classics. Um, you can never go wrong with either one. I would personally say buy the Speedy first, just because it's cheaper. Well, the classic Speedy is cheaper. The Bandelier, it, it costs a little more money because I guess you're paying for the strap. I don't know. But the Bandelier, is a, it's, a, it's a bit more expensive. But um, I think you're definitely getting a bang for your buck when you get the classic Speedy, just because, like I said, you can fit a lot in it. It's a big bag and for the size the price is right like you can't go wrong with spending that kind of money on this size of a bag and it's a luxury bag come on okay so i changed my camera setup just so you guys can see like directly above what the bag looks like um you know when i'm talking about the comparison so this is what the bag looks like this is the speedy the classic speedy 30 but i just kind of want to show you guys the difference in the setup of the bag um as i was saying a con of this bag is you can't really see everything at a glance so i'm gonna open it and this is pretty much all you can see at once i wouldn't really like stretch it out much more than that i have my glasses um my wallet what else i have my cosmetic pouch i have my um agenda pm again cosmetic pouch um my wallet i have my glasses case and my glasses is in there um what is this i have my push uh accessoire my mini pochette and i have my six ring key holder and um i do have a couple more things inside but i'm not really gonna bring them out yeah i'm gonna do the never full and then i'll show you guys what i'm talking about and i do have an organizer in here of course
But here's a Neville fold. You can see everything is open. I, I do have a lot more in here than I did in this BD just because obviously this is bigger. I can definitely still fit more in here. So I, I want to talk really quick about this organizer that I have in here. I got it from, I believe it's called Komako on Amazon. Um, it's, it's okay. Like it's not the greatest organizer that I have. Um, it keeps the bag organized of course but i do feel like the size that i got is too big and like according to the website the extra large is for the never full mm maybe i read it wrong but i don't think i did and i believe i got the larger the extra large and it's way too big for my never full mm and it can't even fit in my speedy 30. um so yeah i mean everything is is nice and organized and the thing that comes inside the little divider that comes inside it's a little too shriveled up let me show you guys so this is the divider that comes inside as you can see it's like squished and it's not like really stretching out so there's really no use for it like i can't put stuff inside it because it just i mean it's it's just i don't know it's just annoying so i don't even put this inside um but yeah, this is the organizer. Like I said, I got it from Komako on Amazon. If you do want to get it, if you have a Neverfull MM, I would say maybe get the medium. Every other organizer I have fits in my MM and it fits in my Speedy 30 just fine. So I'm not really sure what's going on with this one. Anyway, um, so in this one, I have um, this little book that I write things in. I have my glasses case. I have my wallet. Um, I have my phone. I have this... Um, I put like pens and stuff in here. I have my cosmetic pouch. I have my mini pochette. I have my key holder. I have the same coin um, purse that I had in the other one. This is what I used to hold my phone when I'm driving. I have my agenda PM. Um, I have the work thing, the Wi-Fi for work, and the tickets. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, like I mentioned earlier in the video, if you do enjoy these kind of videos, please subscribe to my channel down below. And um, if you enjoyed watching this video, give it a nice thumbs up. You know, you can put comments in the comment section down below because I definitely love reading and responding to you guys. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.